What can you tell us about the film? Uh, well, what, what? You know everything about the film. What can I tell you about the film? It, For it, someone who doesn't know what it's about. Someone who doesn't know about the film. Um, I've learned it's a different film than the one I signed up for. Okay. I signed up because my brother asked me. <laughs> he directs it. What am I going to do? Um, and then I realized that actually, as much as all the fun is there, and it is a very funny film, uh, and builds in its humor, it's got quite a serious connotation and uh, about male identity, I think, um, and how we can drift away from it and then try and regain it. Um, and I think that's more important this year than it was last or the year before, isn't it? Everybody's identities like that is turning to be quite crucial. Um, so I guess I, I guess it's got more to it than I thought initially. <laughs> so what did you take away from this experience? I loved it. I thought, well, the, the experience itself, I've seen it twice now. Uh, both with big screens and big, big full movie, movie houses. In Edinburgh, we finished the festival up there and we had 1,500 people and it was amazing. I mean, it was really fantastic. The audience, were, they, they did nothing but laugh all the way through and clap. And then at the end of it, they clapped and clapped and clapped. And you want to go, well, great. If that's, if that's the reaction, then you, then you do sometimes get the people like the, the national press up there did the next day, right? Typically dull event, evening to uh, enter the film festival. You're going, where were you watching this? Probably on a Tuesday afternoon in some little screening room somewhere with two seats. But that's okay. Everyone's allowed their opinion. I think it's good fun. No, nobody I know who's seen it, personally, nobody I know who's seen it, hasn't loved it. So many people compare it to the Full Monty, those who watch it. What do you think? Is that I, that's absurd. I, I, I mean, I'm, it's lovely to be mentioned in the same breath as Full Monty because that was a, a, an amazing movie, a classic and brilliantly done with some fantastic cast and, and wonderful writing and it was, a, it was a rage against society at the time. It was a rage against Thatcherism, against uh, depression. Um, this isn't. <laughs> we never wanted it to be. It wasn't aimed at that. Uh, I know none of the publicity team have ever said that. So it's kind of odd that um, some newspapers have already compared us to this. And to, I mean, it's, it's flattering in one way, but they say it's no full Monty. Well, no, it isn't. Good. Good. <laughs> Because this isn't that kind of a rage. This is a rage against. Oh my God. Well, I think Rob says it in the movie, doesn't he? It's an existential rage against time or age. I forget what he said, which is brilliant. Which great description of it. It's 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 a much softer movie than, than the full Monty was. It's not got that kind of grit. It's not aiming for that grit. Um, and the humour comes in a very different way. Some of full Monty, if you look at it now, was quite broad, wonderful. I mean, really terrific, but broad. And this is quite sweet and subtle and different. It's a family movie of different sort. How was, speaking about family, how was working with your own brother? I love working with my brother. I really do. And I would do it every day of the week if I could. Uh, no, he's a very good director. He's a challenging director. Um, he doesn't... You know, he, he makes me want to get it right. I don't feel as though I do. Uh, I've never felt very good at getting things right um, in life. So when it comes to it, I can't watch it very well. I don't watch my own bits very well. Um, but I trust him, so I get on with it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. No, no, thank okay. you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.